Hi, my name is John Whitehead and I'm an executive and leadership coach and welcome to this week's blog post. I've moved inside today because it's so smoky outside from the forest fires. This past week I was doing some work with some leaders and we were having a conversation about what you bring to the workplace. And one of the subjects was around attitude, what we bring in terms of attitude. And as a leader, what is our responsibility in setting the stage, in modeling the way of Kuzas and Parsons would talk about. There has been uh, quite a bit of research done on emotional contagion. Uh, Richard Biotis talks about that in his work on emotional intelligence in that, and you've probably felt this yourself, where some, if somebody walks into a room that's sort of, sort of got a down and mood, the whole room sort of picks up on that and you'll feel the whole room go down. But if somebody walks into a room with a, you know, with a good attitude, positive, that has a tendency to bring up the whole group. The first one of the people that I was working with this week made a really interesting observation. He said that with his crew, if people come to work with a bad attitude or poor attitudes, uh, they're bitching and complaining or whatever, the work suffers in, in his in his uh, workplace where it, they're using a lot of heavy equipment and um, drills and machinery, they, they find that the stuff starts breaking down. A drill bit might break or a motor quits. And, but if a person, if the team is up and the attitude is up, things seem to go quite smoothly. And I was thinking about that. Why does that happen? Is it, it's, it's not that there's anything mystical here that's happening. But I would think, I'm thinking that if you walk into a space, into your workplace with a really positive attitude, you're probably more aware of how you treat things, right? If you've got a really bad, you can see this, if you've got a bad attitude, you maybe throw something on the desk a little bit more rougher. Um, and if it was a piece of equipment, you probably just let it drop, right? You, I don't give a darn and you just kind of drop it and something will break and something will snap. So the fact, you know, it's not just coming into the workplace with a good attitude because you want everything to feel good, but there has actually a production or a performance piece that adds to, that gets added into that. And, and I was watching, listening to this guy talking about that and, it, and it, it just clued with me. It was one of those aha moments, of course. You know, so creating a, a, a positive workplace isn't just for the feel good stuff. It's also improves performance, it reduces damage possibly to machinery or equipment and you, you production will go up. So another way of looking at that maybe. Anyway, it's John Whitehead. Thank you for listening to my video blog post this week. If you've got any comments and suggestions, again, put them at the bottom of the blog. I really appreciate that and I'll answer any comments and suggestions that you have. Thank you again and I hope you have a great week. Thank you.